I'll let it go cold. Anyway, how's it going? What's up guys? I thought today, kind of easing myself into the video world, I'll do a little what's in my camera bag tutorial. So stay tuned, got a lot to show you. Starting off, we have this bad boy, the Manfrotto. Manfrotto? Manfrotto? I don't know how you say it. I've heard a lot of people say it different ways, but I call it Manfrotto, so probably just because I'm English. But anyway, starting off with this, you have got this little section at the front. Don't know if you can see it there. There you go. But not very big. Obviously, it's quite a compact bag, but it is I got it cheap, so first little bag. Cheap and cheerful. But anyway, moving over to the main section. We've got a nice little bit of net in here. I think this is good for keeping your filters and stuff in, because I have a filter if it's perfectly in there. But that's basically what I use them for, nothing nothing too fancy really. I could get a little little kit. I do want to get a little kit full of like emergency stuff I might need. A little kit just to like help me out day to day and any like USBs, SD cards, don't know why I said USBs, but any stuff like that could keep in there. But it also has a little section up here. That's where I keep mostly my tools and crap, which I'll probably show you in a bit. But as you're all wondering where the action happens, down the bottom there, wow. You've got these little removable sections. Got it? See, it's just like a little, just a little section, kind of rearranging, but I don't really feel there's much you can do with them, to be honest. I only just managed to fit all my gear in the bottom of there, so, don't know, maybe, maybe I'm due for an upgrade. Loud Pro stuff looks quite nice. Not a sponsor. Always wanted to say that. <laughs> and that's for obviously keeping your laptop and any other personal stuff you need, but again, tiny. It's a good little bag though. I think it's alright. It's it was only 50 pounds I think I paid for it, so it's quite it's quite affordable. So I definitely would recommend it if you're starting out or anything, because I think it's managed to do what everything I wanted to without being a, too difficult if you get what I mean. But anyway, we'll move on. The gear, the gear I am using. I am currently shooting on a Canon 80D. Don't know if you can see that too well, but, oh, that's better, look at that. Sadly, I don't have another camera to film it on, so that's the best you got. But anyway, Canon 80D. I can't really compare it against much at the moment, I think it's good, I think it's good. It's better than my previous camera, which was a Nikon Coolpix bridge camera. Canon's not a sponsor, obviously, but they are amazing. From what, from what I've been using, they're amazing. Their autofocus is insane, honestly. But, it's yeah, it's good, it's good, I'm loving it. And this little 50mm I'm shooting on at the moment, crazy. Anyway, let's move on to lenses. Starting with my 18-135. to Nothing special, but I think it's a pretty solid lens. You've got 3.5 to 5.6 aperture, so 3.5 at 18, and obviously when you get to when you get to more a more zoomed in focal length, you have 5.6 is the lowest it goes. It's not amazing. You're not going to get like that crazy bokeh effect, massive circles, but it's still going to get a, a bit, a, a decent amount. You've got the stabilisation on there, which is really helpful because. I don't think mine has in-body stabilisation, so I find that really helpful when I was videoing the other day on my first video, if you haven't seen it, check it out. But anyway, yeah, solid lens, lovely range on it, that's why, that's why I find it so handy, that's why I went for this kit lens, because you get such a variety, you can capture such a broad range of things, it's, it's crazy. Anyway, carrying on. I'm sorry for this terrible setup, but there, you can see it there, I've got the 50mm prime on it, the standard standard issue one, the 1.8. That is uh, the newest addition to my collection. But I, I'm really liking this lens, honestly. And they call it Nifty 50 for a reason. Next, I have this little bad boy. Look at that. That is tiny. Now, I bet you're wondering what's in it. Bet you are. I would be. Spare battery, if we can get that to focus, boom, right there, 
This is not a Canon battery, this is a Rev Power one. Now again, I'm not sponsored to say anything by anyone in this video, but I think this is a crazy deal. Off Amazon, or this, it was 30 pounds. 30 pounds, seeing as the Canon batteries are 60 pounds each new. So you get the charger with two slots as well as two batteries. And what's better is they have such like an amazing battery life. 2000 milliamp hours, I think they are. So they are massive. I think they're bigger than the original Canon ones actually. Not ripping on Canon batteries or anything, just to say these are amazing price. However, I do have yet to test it out properly because I only got these the other day. So I could be just talking a bunch of crap and they could be the worst things in the world. So don't, don't go and buy them yet. The reviews I've read are good, so not much more you can ask for, but <laughs> but there is. But anyway, the reviews are really good. I've yet to try it. I will try it out soon, and I will let you know in a different video, surely. Really, really happy with this purchase so far. And also, in the back, you've got a little pocket. In the bucket. And in there, I keep an SD card. Now, at the moment, I'm not shooting like crazy stuff. I'm not working as a photographer or anything at the moment. I, I want to. I do want to in the future, but there's just some stuff I can't. I can't do it at the moment just because of other reasons. But anyway, I have my SD cards. This one here, this sand disk one, I use for my photos at the moment. It's 32, so it's not massive. 32 gig, by the way. It's not massive, but it gets the job done. It gets the job done for photos. I can take, I can easily go the day without maxing out my card. But yeah, that's really good. And also in my camera, I can't take it out at the moment, but I have the new SanDisk Extreme 64 gig, and that's the 90 megabits a second read rate it has. And if you don't know what read rate is, it's just the, it's the time that I, I won't go into that, I won't go into it. But anyway, that's that, in the back, SD card, boom, sorted. Can't go wrong with that, fits right in, fits in your back pocket, it's amazing. Moving on, we have, boom. This is the Revo Circular Polarizer, and as you may or may not know, polarizers are really good for landscape stuff. You can do portraits as well if you want, it's no saying you can't, but it's really good because you can change the angle of reflection, reflect, refraction? I don't know, I don't know the science behind it, I'm not a scientist. All I know is, these are also really good for making your pictures look really nice and saturated in camera before post, so you can get that best picture in camera, which will obviously lead to an easier edit later on. But yeah, these are really good polarizers. And as you can see, this fits, I'll try to show you, I told you, I told you I'd show you. This fits nice and snug in this little pouch here. Of course I can't get it in there. Boom. Oh, look at that. Mate, look at that. Honestly, beautiful. Next, I'll chuck a little bit on the screen here now. As you can see, you've got the Manfrotto tripod. I can't remember what model this is, but but yeah, this is a, a this was quite, quite cheap, quite a good price. It's got the ball head as standards, and that's really good. That's really good for if you need to set up shots in difficult angles. It's really good for video, really versatile for that. It's good for, well, it's a ball head, it's good for anything. It hasn't done me wrong at the moment. It's done what I want it to do. Be a tripod, be stable. It's, it's done that, it hasn't fallen over yet. I haven't had any problems with it. So, happy with that so far. Right, on to the more interesting stuff. I have a microfiber. This can come in handy for I don't know what yet. I have not used it. It's been sat in my camera bag for ages. I have not found any way to use it yet, but you never know. Could, could come in handy one day, could save me. I could get my camera absolutely soaked somehow, and this could be last resort, so boom. And yeah, that's that's just about it, really. I don't, I don't have an extensive collection at the moment. Surely I'll develop it in the future, but that's all I've got for you. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. And if you could recommend to your friends or whatever my channel, that'll help me out massively. 
obviously you don't feel obliged to, but if you enjoyed the video and you want people to get in on the action, why not? More the merrier. So yeah, comment, subscribe, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video soon, surely, hopefully, if you want another one. I'll make one anyway. Right, cool. Come in, Andy. You're with. Anyway, thanks. Bye.